Hello, I thought I'd draw all the animals from what the ladybird heard at the seaside. All the animals and the mermaid. Shall I see if I can fit them all on one page? There's quite a few of them. You see them all here on the front. Shall we look inside and see how many there are? There are quite a few. There's a mermaid, there's a whale, there's a dolphin, there's a sea lion, there's a shark, there's a crab. I'd better get on with it, hadn't I? I'm going to start. I'm going to draw the I might draw the sea to start just so we know where we're going. So I'm going to draw a line for the sea. Now we'd better start with the mermaid, I think. So I'm going to draw her. How shall I start her? Well, it's always very tricky when you're starting in mid-air where to start. I think I'll draw her head. Now she's got very long hair which she's combing. So I'm going to draw her hair coming down that way, just as a starting point. Draw her neck there. That's a bit of her body. And we'll draw her eyes. Eyelashes. Um, and she's got freckles actually, I'm going to draw some freckles, can you see? Um, and she's going to have her arm coming this way with her comb there, she's combing her hair. There we are, let's do a bit of hair that way. So that's her arm there and then she's got the rest of her body Coming down here. Now this is going to be her tail. Coming round like that. Maybe the tail would come this way. That's her there. Now she's going to be holding someone in her hand. He might be little enough to hold in her hand. Let's have a look. I'm going to leave that, we'll leave that bit for later. Try to bring it a bit closer. So, there she is, we give her her lips, her love heart lips that I always do. We can give her a bit more hair. Uh, there we go, let's do a little bit of blowing in the wind. There we are, we can draw her scales. Oh, I'd be all day doing her scales actually. I might just do some scales. I'll finish the scales off in a bit, otherwise we'll be here all day. So there's our mermaid. I'm going to draw, she's sitting on a whale. So I'm going to draw the whale coming up like this. So she's sat there. That's the bit of the whale. And then there's a, the big tail of the whale over here. That's his tail. And now his eye is going to be about here, maybe. He's got a big eye and you can just see a little bit of his mouth. He's got a smiley mouth. Now he's got some sort of lumps on his head. Lumps. Spots. Lumps. He's got some things on his head like that. Oh, his tail's a bit wonky, isn't it? I haven't done that very even. Hmm. Never mind. So, there's the whale. There's the mermaid. I'll draw some more scales on her. I'll draw a few scales at a time. There we go. Oh, I've nearly done them. You can take a bit more time than I am if you want to copy me. There's her tail. So there we are. There's a moment. Now, actually, she wears um, she wears uh, a starfish in her hair. I'm just going to put it there. Little starfish. And who shall I draw next? Let's draw the sea there. Let's draw some splashes coming off the. Because he does a lot of splashing in this book. So whale, mermaid, there's some other creatures in the book. There's a crab, a bit like in sharing a shell. I'll do the crab here. So this, the crab, he's going to be quite small actually. I'll bring this a bit closer. So the crab is a round body. Now it's got claws that look like that. Two eyes. I'm just going to draw the legs as sticks. That's a very easy crab, little crab. And then we're going to do, 
Now there's some other animals. Can you see what there are? There's, what did I say? There was a, there's a shark. I draw the shark here. Now the shark's very pointy. I did a drawing lesson about a shark yesterday. Let's draw the water there. We'll draw his pointy fin. I'll do him smiling. He's happy today. And he's got this shape eyes. He's looking that way, giving him some teeth. Luckily, he's nice and happy. He's probably, his tummy's nice and full. So we don't have to worry about him today. So there's the shark. There's a sea lion. The sea lion has got more of a sort of squarish type head. A bit like a dog's head, I would say. Give it some whiskers. Two eyes. We'll do whiskers there as well. It's got, it's got dots for a nose. Smiley mouth. There's the sea lion, looking very happy. And we've got a dolphin. I'm going to do the dolphin. Ooh, I'm going to have to come this way a bit. Dolphin here. So the dolphin's got a nose like that. Dolphin's very round, apart from its fin like that. There's its nose. Big smiley mouth. Dolphins are always smiling, aren't they, I think. Two eyes. Smiley dolphin. And there's two little fish in it as well, in the story as well. There's a dogfish and a catfish, but I've made them look quite similar. So they're always together, but I'm going to put them here. So they're, they're very easy. I think one's got a fin like that. Two eyes and a smiley mouth. One's, does this be the, we'll make that the dogfish. This is the catfish. And the only difference really is one's got whiskers. Catfish, dogfish. We'll draw some more waves. More splashes. Oh, the sea, there's a seagull in it, a bit like in The Singing Mermaid, there's a seagull. And the seagull's got two wings. I'll do the wings here. Some feet. Beak. Two eyes. Now, who have I left? Who have I forgotten? Who's the star of the show? Um, the little, not the mermaid, the little ladybird. I'm going to put her here. She's going to go on like that. I'm just going to give her one eye today. Should I give her two? She doesn't look right with one. Two eyes. Some legs. So there we go. There's the mermaid from the new book. Um, I'm going to draw the sun. I always draw, like to draw a nice happy sunshine. I always draw the sun a bit like this. There we are. That's all the animals for you. I hope that's okay. Want to have a closer look? There you go. Sorry about my wonky tail. It's not very good, is it? I need to practice that more. So I hope you all enjoy the story. <laughs> have a good day. Have fun drawing some seaside creatures. See you soon. Bye.